after my room is all set up, my mind, my mind space is all set up, and I have that joyfulness and that gratitude, I'm going to begin to open my receptive centers. I will say in a separate lesson about the chakra system, but I'm going to use a meditation now to show you how to kind of open up the radio, the radio dials, the receptivity. And I find this is really, really important. So as I sit in my chair, my space, you have to make sure your back is straight up and you're going to be connected with your feet on the floor. And I just want you, if you want to do it now, that's fine, you can close your eyes and do that. Just getting a sense that, you know, what this is like, getting into this space. So I, as I sit in my chair, I'm aware of the physical body. And I, in a way, I'm very, very aware that I want to take my awareness and I want to put it inside me. I almost do this as like a flashlight and I'm illuminating the inside of me. So I'm taking my awareness and going within. I'm aware that I'm an energy, that I'm energy floating, energy running my energy very aware of that. I'm very aware that I am a spiritual being, an energetic being with no limitations. I go uh, beyond my physical shell. So my energy is part of Mother Earth. And I'm going to, at the bottom of my feet, be very, very aware that my feet can be like roots of a tree going straight down to Mother Earth, straight down all the way in the middle of the earth. And many times I'll imagine myself connecting with a rock, tying a rock up, or my roots go down to Mother Earth and connect with the wonderful other beautiful, beautiful energies that are down there. And Mother Earth energy of love and security and balance. And I feel that nurturing energy and I'm sending gratitude. So I am becoming part of that Earth. I'm like a tr tree going right down to Mother Earth energy. And I'm feeling very connected and very secure with that. At that point, I then give gratitude to Mother Earth, Gaia, wonderful energy. And I just become aware, may I use that energy? Yes. <laughs> yes, Gaia always wants to use the energy. And I will visualize as best as I can the Earth energy coming up my feet, up my legs to my first chakra, my red chakra. And I'm very aware I become energized. That red chakra becomes energized with Earth energy. And that red light expands. Okay, the first base of the spine, the red chakra, expands and I become very secure and solid in that Mother Earth energy. Okay, that's great. Now you can also use like a, a thermometer. You're going to use the analogy of a thermometer. You can use the analogy of an elevator. Whatever works for you is fine in bringing up that energy. I also tend to, when I'm opening myself up for a psychic reading, which is what I'm doing now, I'm opening myself up up, I will make sure either light bulbs will go on. So as I bring up earth energy, I'm very aware of the red light bulb going on. Yeah. Now I go down deep, deep, deep down to mother earth. And also I will use the breath as I bring the breath up and bring an inhale. I'm bringing up that energy. I'm rising the energy up and the temperature, the thermometer, the elevator goes up to the level, you know, the light bulb will go on. And when I exhale, I'm just stable then with that energy. So let's try it. So we're going to try the uh, root chakra first with bringing up the energy. As Okay. So I'm going down to Mother Earth energy, that red, red, red. And I'm going to inhale, bringing that up and bring that red light bulb open and exhale. I'm all set and stable in that red root chakra. Okay. I'm going to go down deep, deep, even that deep, deep down now to Earth and inhale more energy. Bring energy up, the red chakra, and now the orange chakra, and exhale. And the orange light bulb goes on. It's almost like um, a flame. You can also see this as kind of a flame building up, building up, getting higher and higher with your chakra point. So I have my, my red chakra open, my orange is wide open. I'm going to go deep down again. And imagine a flame building higher, and inhale. Red, orange, and now yellow, and exhale. <sighs> my yellow light is open. Yellow chakra point is open. My solar plexus. I'm very aware of that being open, all three of them. Very, very aware of that. Opening up my radio dials, my radio centers. Very, very aware of that. And just for yourselves, as you sit there like this, I just want you for the moment now, just in your mind to become aware of what does that red feel like? that red center opening up, what does that feel like to you as far as the frequencies of the red, the vibration of the red, sound of the red color? And then move up to the orange. What does that feel like as you move that orange light, that orange channel, that orange center? 
What does that feel like? A little bit different than the red. And then you go to the yellow. Now, what does that feel like? Very different again. Remember, because each chakra point is very, very different. Different tones, different notes, different vibrations, different frequencies. The higher you go up, the higher the frequency. Just want you to subtly feel the difference. Great. Now we go down once more again and fan that flame and inhale. Down to earth. Bring up that energy, the red, the orange, yellow, now the green, and exhale. <sighs> very good, very good, very good. Great, great, great. That green light, that green energy, the healing energy. I'm very aware of that. I know it's an emotional center. I'm very open to that. And you become more of, and I like to become red, orange, yellow, green. And I delve into those colors, and I kind of really open up to that. <sighs> That's me personally. And again, remember, I've been doing this a long, long time. Now, there are two ways of doing the next, the other of, of higher chakras, and I just want you to be mindful that I tend to, because I'm going to use the higher chakras, I'm going to do it when I, as I do my grounding work. Am I running my energy? I'm going to do the same way. So I'm fully grounded up to this point, yeah? Now, it's very interesting that I'm connected here, but now I want to connect this way. So what I will tend to do is I'll run my energy, and I will be aware of that. And when I inhale, I'm going to bring the energy down from up here, down to the crown chakra, down to the crown chakra, and I'm going to illuminate the blue, yes, the green. Well, I'm going to do them with the green first because I'm going to bring more of the cosmic energy to the green, and then the blue, the throat, then the third eye, and the crown. Just remember, you're just stimulating them, you're being mindful of opening them with just your thoughts, yes? So you're going to empower those centers. So as I'm inhaling now, I'm going to bring in the cosmic energy in, and exhale, I'm going to stabilize it there. And the same, same we did for the bottom up, okay? And remember about running your energy. You're going to run your energy too as you blend those two together, the cosmic and the earth energy. Blend them together and run it forth. That's called running your energy. So I'm going to run my energy as I activate each chakra point too, okay? So now I'm going to inhale the cosmic light coming down to my heart. And inhale. I think it's there. The heart center. And exhale. Great. Good, very good. Great, great, great. And now I'm going to bring in more cosmic energy and illuminate the throat chakra. And inhale. Open that wide open like a door, like a light bulb, blue light bulb. And exhale. Staying very stable. Very, very good. Very, very good. And remember, I'm melding my earth energy, my cosmic energy, my heart. And in just a moment, I'm going to run that out in front of me so I can start running my energy. Okay, now I'm going to bring more energy now into my third eye center and inhale. And exhale. And opening up that third eye center. Very good. Very good. And now the crown. And inhale. And exhale. Very, very good. The crown chakra, great. Now, I'm very, very aware, just for a moment, I'd like to take the time to just acknowledge each center you just opened up. Your heart center, the top part, cosmic energy, what does that feel like? It feels different than the lower part of the heart. The blue sh sh throat chakra, what does that feel like as you've opened that up? That blue light bulb. Third eye center, beautiful indigo color. The seat of sight, what does that seem like? And the crown chakra. Crown chakra is always open, by the way. You're just opening it to be more accentuating it. Now I'm feeling all my colors being open and light. I'm beginning to run my energy now. Remember, running the energy. So the energy is coming down, cosmic, up from the earth, meeting the heart, and running out like a fountain. And I'm running through the chakra system, running my energy. Any stagnant energy in my chakra points, any foreign energy, any psychic debris gets run out right now. And I'm completely circulating my energy all the time. This way, and then remember the chakras also this way. So just be mindful that they're moving at this point that they're moving. Now, as you become aware of that, you'll begin to feel that you indeed are an energetic being and that you are being receptive. Now, at that point, when I feel very, very open, and it's, I'm going to start reading now, I'm going to start being intuitive, I can say a prayer. So in, for my case, I'll say something as uh, to the effect of, uh, Dear Spirit Friends, I am here to do the highest good for my client. I am open to receive uh, intuitively uh, and read them, opening them, 
and recognizing the truth within them and showing them the truth of themselves. I am here to be a mirror. I am here to be a listener. I am here to guide them to be the best they can possibly be. And so it is. And that's just an intention and prayer that I'm setting forth. So that's how you begin your psychic reading. Now, of course, your client comes in. They come into your sacred space, which you've created. Again, they're going to feel that sacred space. And they might say to you, wow, I feel good already. Even if they don't verbalize that, you know they feel good already because you've created this wonderful healing space. And that will make a very big difference between someone who just throws a psychic reading at them and someone who knows what they're doing because they'll be able to tell the difference. So try it, do it, use it, and live it. Okay? Great. Until next time.